Sebastian Gorka. He is a founding member of the Council for Emerging National Security Affairs. Dr. Gorka, it is wonderful to see you. Thanks very much for joining us. Good morning. Great to be on. What is your reaction to John Brennan's comments last night? Uh, a little bit surprised. He gave this long interview in which he said that, uh, you know, the, the threat uh, is, is maybe out there and ISIS is, is trying. ISIS isn't trying. ISIS has succeeded. If you look at the fact that since Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi declared the caliphate in summer of 2014, we have killed or arrested over 90 people in America with links to ISIS. So, you know, the threat is real. The threat is here, whether it's uh, Malik and Farouk uh, on social media after the attack in San San Bernardino. This isn't a theoretical threat. It is a real threat. And Maria. we know this from the number of investigations going on within the United States uh, of people who are either joining the fight or re related to the fight. Tell us what the status of ISIS in America is right now, Sebastian. Okay, so if you break down the figures, we, we wrote this report at threatknowledge.org. So we've had almost 100 people arrested on U.S. soil. If you break that down, half of them are people who want to go and fight jihad in the Middle East, go and fight for ISIS in Syria or Iraq. 20% of those are facilitators, people that are talent spotting, recruiting, buying the plane tickets to Turkey. But the really scary Everything, and this is what Brennan really should be talking about, is 30% of the people we have interdicted had decided the best way to serve ISIS is to kill Americans here on U.S. soil. As you said, the director of the FBI, Director Comey, has said there are ongoing investigations, more than 900 leads right now in all 50 states. And that isn't jihadi cases, that's specifically ISIS, Maria. Wow. Dagan. Sebastian, is the government doing enough in terms of counter propaganda, if you will? Yeah. The FBI, is, did, I don't know if you saw it, the FBI came out with this GOAT video game for uh, basically aimed at children to try and not uh, prevent them from being radicalized. And if you look at it, it's quite frankly laughable. And it kind of goes to the fact of what our, our government isn't doing. Twitter. When it comes to the propaganda war, uh, we are still in the kindergarten, we're in the pre-K, and ISIS is in grad school. They're, they're eating our lunch every day in the propaganda domain, whether it's with their magazine, Dabik, the ISIS English language internet magazine, whether it's their presence on social media, their use of encrypted means of communication. Everything we do is either laughable, as you mentioned, especially what's coming out of the Department of State, or it's absolutely tactical. It's at the lowest level with the idea that we're going to stop individuals from becoming terrorists when that's not what we have to do. We have to degrade and delegitimize the whole ideology of the caliphate. But this administration won't touch it because it says you can't talk about religion, which is very, very strange. So, so Dr. Gorka, with that, you know, we're a majority, you know, here in the West, we're, we're majority non Muslim. What, what place do we have trying to establish legitimacy? for you know, any interpretation of Islam. Is this something that needs to be solved within the Islamic world? Is there really anything the West can do about this? Great question. We have to be part of this the same way we were during the Cold War. We have to help those in the region fight this fight. There are some very brave Muslim reformers on the Internet. There are people like General Sisi, King Abdullah II of Jordan. We have to help them in the same way that we helped people in Europe. Remember, the CIA uh, owned publishing houses in Europe, whole publishing houses, to push back on communist uh, ideology during the Cold War. Today, we are just not present. We are absent in the war, and we're not helping our allies, the good guy Sunnis, like the Jordanians, like the Egyptians, fight this fight and win it for us. A any thoughts on the debate in terms of who had uh, <laughs> a, a plan to do just that, Dr. Gorka? When it comes to that, I, I'm not really seeing it. I, I've been impressed on national security issues in general. In the past with Carly, she's been very good. Now we have Senator Cruz, Senator Rubio being, being very vociferous, very, very strong. I don't see the details uh, with uh, Mr. Trump. So um, this will be a national security election as far as I'm concerned. So I want to see more details exactly on this issue of ideology. All right. and, and you think that an ISIS attack is, is imminent? 
We published a report a week before San Bernardino after Paris saying the type of attack we saw in Paris is not a question of if in America, it's a question of when, and our assessment has not changed, Maria. Wow. Dr. Gorka, good to have you on the program. Thanks so much. Thank we, you. We appreciate it. Sebastian Gorka joining us there.